Hi there. So in this series of podcasts, we're going to be looking at ANOVA, uh, which compares three or more groups, which compares the variance between three or more groups. So if you go to the main, uh, main workbook page, there's a set of data on there titled uh, Tiddlywink Performance, and there was three groups within that, each taking a different supplement. One was taking caffeine, one was taking water, and one was taking beer. Those lucky guys. Okay, so there's three different groups there. And what an ANOVA does is it compares the variance both between the groups and within the groups, okay, to try and disprove or prove the null hypothesis that there will be no difference between these groups in terms of dependent variable scores. And ANOVA uh, aims to create a F value to then compare it to the F scores or the F ratio, uh, very similar to uh, T scores and Z scores. How it does that is by comparing the sorry F score. So this is our calculated F score. It's calculated by using both our within groups variance. So that's a variance within each group. Variance and our between groups variance. And then, once we've calculated this F score, which we're going to have a look at in the next few podcasts, you can determine whether you accept or reject your null hypothesis depending on where that F score score falls on the F score ratio. Um, so your critical F, which is what you're going to be comparing to, is determined by your degrees of freedom and also uh, by the confidence level which you'll be working to. Generally in sports science we work to 0.05 but you may be working to 0.01 um, and then that is also takes into account your degrees of freedom. So that might be roughly along here for example. So that would be our critical F. And then depending on which side your calculated F falls, if it falls on this side of the frequency, okay, this is where the majority of the data lies, then you would accept your null hypothesis. In that there is no significant difference between the groups. If you have a uh, calculated F which is larger than that value, so along this bottom axis, it's larger than that value, so then falls on this side, then there is a significant difference somewhere within those groups, and you would reject your null hypothesis. So that's the basis of how an ANOVA um, works and what we're really trying to achieve. So the next thing we need to set about doing is working out this F value.